Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we uh, finished making our military research production. So this is what this is, as well as storing uh, stuff for use later. You know, bullets, grenades, turrets, all kinds of stuff that we are going to be using. And then we went ahead and set up production of blue research packs, uh, which um, I have obviously been running the game a bit to let the blue research packs fill up uh, uh, down the belt. So that is fine. I've been doing some research, getting some things done that I uh, want to get done. Uh, so that's good. The big problem is that we're having right now is lack of power. So we need to start building a new uh, power plant that is going to be using solar panels and accumulators. So that is what we're going to be doing there. Now, one thing that I noticed while letting things run for a bit is that we are stressing our production of... Um, what is this? Carbon. Now, I don't know if this is simply because we don't have enough power or if we're just outstripping it. I bumped these guys up to the newer versions of electronics uh, assemblers, which we can now actually make. So we can now make the red ones because we have the, the parts. But what is slowing them down is not the fact that they can't make the stuff fast enough, as they don't have enough carbon. So, we're going to uh, see if we can't resolve that by kind of creating a dedicated carbon production for that. And uh, we're also going to do one other thing before we start building the power plant. Um, I can actually get rid of all of these guys here. Clean this up. We've done all that. So... What we are actually making is we are making electronic components, these guys. And we are using red factories. And we are using five of them. Right? Five. So, if we're going to make the carbon, we are going to need... Um... Now, we did unlock the ability to make the Tier 3 liquefiers, but we don't have the materials for it. So we're going to have to stick with the Tier 2 liquefiers for the time being. We'd only need two Tier 2 liquefiers making the carbon. We need the coke, which we can make from crushed coal in a furnace. What type of furnaces do we actually have access to? Uh, we have access to steel metal mixing. Steel metal mixing. Steel metal mixing. Electric chemical furnaces? No. Steel metal mixing furnaces. Okay, we only actually need one of those. Uh, how, mu how many uh, tier 3 crushers are we going to need? One. Right, because that's what we can make. Yes. We're going to need some more clay brick. Maybe. Okay, and then we're going to need to make carbon dioxide from coal from a tier 2 liquefier. We're going to need a total input of 3.2 coal per second. Which I think we can sustain pretty well. Because we actually do have coal up here now, because we were bringing it over by train. Now that we have blue research, we're going to want to do some... Um, Mining production increasing? Stuff like that. Alright, let's see if we have the materials to make everything that we need. I'm going to 
make it here. Uh, we're going to need a crusher. We are going to need four liquefier Mark IIs, which we don't have enough for that. We are going to need a steel metal mixing furnace. And that's it. We just need some more clay brick to make the, uh, the liquefiers. So let me go ahead and go grab some of those. I'll be back in a sec. Actually, I am going to talk about something while we are driving because there's something I forgot to mention is that I said I did some research and specifically the research that I did work on is for some stuff for our modular armor because we unlocked modular armor a while back at least I did at one point and what you can do with modular armor is you can actually start slotting stuff into the armor. Oh, silly trees. You can start slotting stuff into the armor. In particular, you can have your own personal robo ports which you can use for your own personal uh, squadrons of construction robots. So here's the modular armor. If you right click on it, it opens up the armor that has a grid of stuff in there. So I went ahead and I manufactured some personal robo ports because I unlocked those. I manufactured some batteries to allow us to store uh, electricity and some portable solar panels to put in there. And you can see this little icon right here shows you the battery level um, on in your armor how much energy you have stored now when you have a full squadron of robots which are two robo parts can support 10 a piece which means you can have 20 robots that can drain your energy real quick if you're building a large um, facility using blueprints all right logistic robotics is finished all right. Uh, character logistic trash slots? Character logistic slots. Uh, I'm not really worried about my logistic slots right now because we don't really have a logistic system set up yet. What I would like is to increase my tool belt. That would be really nice. So let's do that. All right, so how many more liquefiers did we need? We need three. One, two, a three. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go for tool belt, uh, go for inventory slots, um, go for um, mining productivity. I think is what we're gonna be pri prioritizing at this point. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make some carbon dioxide out of this stuff. Um, Let's, let's do it here. Okay, so. Now, power is a problem, but we're hopefully going to be solving that. Ooh, we need purified water. I forgot about that. We need purified water. Do we not have any purified water up here? Uh, let, I, we know we have normal water. Uh, do we have purified? Purified. And here is purified water. Where is it running? is run into this guy. So we're probably going to go have to go borrow that. All right. No problem. Well, I say that say that, but now I have to figure out how to get it where it needs to go. Uh, 
Should I actually do it like this? I don't know. Okay, um, how far can this go? Can't quite make it, so let's... It'll be a, look a little weird, but let's switch the plastic pipe. Because that will get me where it needs to be. And then we can probably switch back to the steel just to use it up. Do it like that, or do you want to just go straight? Let's just take it straight. There we go. Purified water. You know, that's the wrong recipe. I don't need purified water to make carbon dioxide. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Somebody was probably yelling at their screen that I was doing the wrong thing. Oh well. Um, it doesn't hurt to have the uh, purified water available over here in case we need it. So I'll just leave the uh, a pipe terminus right there, and um, if we do end up needing it at some point, we can go ahead and grab it. So, sorry for the uh, unnecessary <laughs> construction there. All right, I think we'll just go with the small inline tank. Okay, okay. Alright, so there we have the carbon dioxide. And we're going to need some crushed coal. Which... We can do that easily. I'm actually going to do that right here. Crushed coal. And is this like something I can just direct insert? Because it's one, one to one making coke, right? 3.8, 3.8. Yeah, yeah, we can just direct insert it. We don't need to use a belt. Uh, now the one issue is that this thing is gonna need a fuel source. This thing is going to need a fuel source. I think it just used the crushed coal as a fuel, did it not? Yes, it did. And you know what? That's actually perfectly fine. As long as... Actually, no, it's not. Let's do this. I want to use the raw coal as fuel to make the coke. There we go. Okay. 
And then we're going to want to do two. Two of these guys. Two of these guys. Now I'm not going to bother with a, um, gonna bother with a pump is what I was gonna say all right this is gonna be a bit odd but it should work pick up pick up and then drop And you drop near. And now we're going to need to bring this through here. So I'm going to need a... Let's see, what direction is this going? It's going this direction. There we are. Oops. Oops, that is actually not what we want at all. Okay, we only want that on one side. Okay, so... Um... We actually don't want you putting that near. We want to keep that like that. Right? Because then... That works. Up, oh, and it looks like that we filled up here, so that's fine okay do we have any more uh tool belt that we can do no not with the amount of research we have okay because that unlocked the third let's see in inventory uh, additional 10 inventory slots let's grab those all right now the next thing i wanted to do is i want to do robo brains Construction robot brains. Um, that took a, a bit longer than I had anticipated. Uh, let's see. We want to do construction robot brains, which we need the circuit boards, transistors, and basic electronic components, which is basically all of this stuff. So we're just going to grab that. We're going to bring it through. This is going to be real simple. Real easy. Um, we're just going to use one of these blue electronics guys. I'm not going to worry about doing anything too fancy. Construction bra brain mark one. We'll 
Where'd I put my belts? There they are. And I want them in a chest. I don't really need too many of them. Uh, two stacks should be fine. Okay. That's done. Because that's one thing we're going to need to make the construction bots. The next thing we need to make the construction bots are going to be electric motors. Do I know how to make electric motors? Yes, I do. I need engine units, basic electronic boards, and lubricant. Okay. Let's... Set it up. Where are you? There you are. Okay. I'm going to do... One Mark III assembly machine. Now to make the lubricant, right? We need... I'm basically just looking at this to see how I do it. We have Mark II chemical plants. Mark II chemical plants. We need one. Okay. So let's make one of these. Let's split here. You're going to make... Uh, I always forget where these are. There they are. You're going to do that. Okay. Okay, now lubricant. What we need is the base mineral oil, right? We need the base mineral oil, which is right here. And we need that residual gas, which is over there. So... Let's see if I can get this through here. Now, what I'm probably actually going to want is two of these. Because I want to make some for use and make some to store. That'll do. So, we are going to make lubricant. And of course, that didn't line up. Have lubricant and I want a petrochem oil tank. We're gonna store it. There we go. 
because we're going to also need the lubricant. Actually, this is a good place to have it because we're going to need the lubricant to make blue belts. So when we expand the belt uh, area, we're going to need the lubricant. So that's actually perfect. And then we're just going to siphon off some of it. Alright, and you're also going to need these guys. Uh, let's see, can I... Jog it down just a tad. There we are. And then you're going to come in there. Okay, so now we are making those engines. And let's just store a couple stacks. Okay. So that is what we need for construction bots. Everything else we can hand make. So the robot robo brains and the electric motors we need for things. And we can't hand make those. So um, yep, everything else. We'll be able to make the flying robot frames. When so you have the electric engine units, we can make the construction and logistics robot tools, no problem. Can I actually make the bots? Yeah, I should be able to make the bots. There they are. In the logistics panel. Why didn't I see them in there? Because I'm probably blind. That's why. There we go. Okay. So we have enough brains, and we're getting close enough. Um, uh, these engine units. Alright, but what we want to do now is we need to start building a... Uh, solar power farm. I think I can probably do that here if I go to power. How much power do we actually need? There's there's a question. Uh, we currently need... Well, way more than 70 megawatts. So... Let's say we wanted to make enough power with some margin, like maybe um, 130 megawatts. Just add power. We have, what type of solar panels do we have? Just normal solar panels. Solar panel small, solar panel, right? Secondary generator, we have basic accumulators. Now, how do I actually, like... Oh, let's see, solar panel. Oh, this is for, like, just the line, if I wanted... Be able to generate enough power for that. Okay, so all right. Well, I just have to do the math myself then. All right. So we got the more inventory slots. We have to expand our inventory. Uh, let's see. Mining productivity. Let's grab that. Okay. 
All right, so what would be... Uh, how many would we need? These things produce 60 kilowatts. Okay, so that's 60,000 watts. So let's say we wanted 1 million 200,000 watts divided by 60,000. This is going to come to a nice even number. We would need 20 of them. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Energy consumption, energy capacity. Really? 20? Okay. Well, let's put down a farm of 50. Let's put down a farm of 50. And let's put down a farm of 50 accumulators. And let's make sure that we have enough power poles for all of that. And then we're going to need a place to put them. We're going to need a place to put them that is not going to be threatened by bugs, by biters. There's probably a nice spot down here we could probably use. Okay, let's grab some let's grab some grenades. All right, let's grab some grenades. Let's grab a hundred grenades. Let's need to clear some forest. Let's get to it. Actually, let's also grab those engine units and grab some of these brains. And let's make ourselves five, ten. 15, 20 construction robots. And then we're going to need movement speed for those guys. Um, because what we might want to end up doing is creating a blueprint and then just putting down the blueprints and letting the bots do the work. Now, eventually, we're going to want to have a full-on, like, construction and logistics robot network using RoboPorts. But, um, I'm not quite ready for that. Those things use a lot of power. Okay, I'm probably going to have to hoof it on foot from here. Oh, huh? no, wait a minute, hold on. Oh. Oh. oh no, my bots! They're trying to build this railroad track. Stop it! All right, you can place the that stuff. Place that stuff. It's fine. Yeah, they're like really slow right now. Actually, um, do I have, uh, like, better speed for these guys? Construction robotics. Um. Worker robot speed. Plus 35%. Worker robot speed. Worker, we can get two levels of increased worker robot speed. Let's go ahead and switch to that, because that is going to be a bigger deal than anything else. Alright, looks like military research is backed up, red research is backed up, blue research is kind of backed up. That's good, that's good. Alright. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. All right, so they're all going to need to fit within the power. Now, can I convert these guys to 
medium pole twos. Have I not unlocked those yet? I have not unlocked those yet. We don't have brass. We don't have brass. Okay. No big deal. Because we don't have zinc. Okay. No problem then. They'll have to fit everything into the area covered by one of these then. As I was saying. Okay. We're going to want those. We're going to want these. Alright. So... Let's see if I were to do that as my blueprint. So let's go ahead and grab a blueprint and let's make that a blueprint. I'm going to call this Solar Farm 1. Alright. It would work. And that is 9 per block. Now my bots can remove trees. Oh. Now, now, we're starting to work. And I'm out of solar panels. Okay, so actually let me go grab some more. I'm surprised that that, that is gonna be enough. But, you know, we shall see. Well, actually, while we're driving, let's do this. Let's grab these guys. I should be making these guys, too. Um, hold on. All right, worker robot speed. Oh, it didn't quite get all the way there. That's all right. It says it's only making three megawatts. I think I'm off by a factor of 10. I think I'm off by a factor of 10. Um, I think it isn't 50. I think it's be or 20. I think it's 200. Is probably I did my math wrong. All right, let's keep working on worker robot speed. All right, we're, we're going to be a bit long here, but that's all right. I got a little extra time. Uh, we can't really go that way. Let me go grab some more um, solar panels, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. And I double-checked my math, and I think I was right. So either the tooltip is wrong, or the fact that we were just entering a night cycle might be why we were having a problem. 4.3 megawatts, we have 72 of them in place. But I grabbed a whole bunch more anyway because we have the room, so we might as well. That green box is the range that we have for construction. be really nice when we get the uh, higher tier bots and they're, they're really fast all right how many of these do I have left
I have 40 left. Which is... Eight. No. Crazy is forty a multiple of nine at all, and I don't think it is. Nope, I can get eight more, which is fine. Actually, that is. Do I still have more? Hmm. We're making 12 megawatts. With 200. Max power output, 60 kilowatts. That's got to be wrong. All right, worker robot speed has been increased. All right. Let's see. We don't need water bore. It doesn't really lead to anything else, and those things don't actually work. Uh, let's see. Concrete. Might as well grab that. Um, let's grab this. Electric poles too. So we're gonna need accumulators. I think we're gonna do the same thing with the accumulators, right? The accumulators aren't the same size though. They don't fit nice and even in here, do they? Accumulator. Let's pick those up. That's about as good as we're gonna get, I think. Yep, they drained. Okay. We have it in place. And we'll see how it does. It probably is going to, need to be expanded, but we have room to work. I can create like a lot more here and expand the accumulator. We'll see how it goes. But I think 
that for now, I mean, I may just go ahead and expand that a bit off screen. And uh, when we come back next time, I think we are overdue for a um, a clearing run to wipe out some bugs. Because I need to get access to this Bobmonium. Because this Bobmonium is all but depleted. And we we'll also need access to some Steratite and some Rubite, some other things. We have Jivalite over here, but we're going to need to clear these guys to get to it. Um, I thought I saw some Jivalite somewhere else as well. I think it's down here. This is going to be the easier stuff to get to for the, for the moment. So that we can then get the next... Um, so we need Rubite, we need Steratite, and we need Jivalite. So we have three more... Of these guys we need to build, but you know, we have that blue printed and we have our construction bots now, so it's gonna be easier. Uh, electric poles are done. And this is kind of useless. We don't we don't make those pastes or do anything with them. Uh radars too. Let's grab that. Um so yeah. I think we'll be clearing bugs next time. All right, so we'll end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.